Howdy heckin' hey homies, how are y'all doing? It's Sunday, August 1st. Happy August, everybody. Uh, it's just about to hit 12.40. The reason why the first clip is so late is because I actually got up at 9.30, set up the last week's vlog up for publishing at about 10 o'clock, and just started going through a bunch of stuff that I needed to do for Forget Me Not. Um... And I actually got a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> at just how much needs to be done. So I went, had breakfast, had a shower, did like a little bit of um, like self-care stuff on the side just to kind of get me ready to start chipping away at all the work. And I did a warm-up sketch as well. And this sketch is really, really simple. My co-writer, on top of helping me write Forget Me Not, writes his own stories and his own content. And so these are two of his characters from his story Skybreakers. These are two of the main characters. Forgive me, Doug. I forget their names. It's been a while since I've read Skybreakers, but I really liked them and their character and their dynamic, and I wanted to draw them first thing in the morning as opposed to drawing one of my own characters or something forget-me-not related. So that's who these two are. I'll leave a link to his Divina in the description. Read Skybreakers. It's hella cool. Um, What else? So I wrote a little list of things that I need to do for Forget Me Not as a series. And it doesn't look like a long list, but that's because these are all like pretty big tasks that are just lumped into one. Like, for example, doing all the placeholder audio for my next big project that I wrote that down as one task. So um, I'm going to break them down into smaller tasks just so that I'm not so overwhelmed. But the smallest task on this list that I actually can do right now is to keep writing, like finish up Forget Me Not To, write up the finale, because I have the notes for it. They're in my little Forget Me Not uh, planning booklet. So I can just quickly write up the end, have the first draft ready, because my co-writer is on holiday in like two days. Today, tomorrow, yeah, two days. So... I need this to be ready. Obviously, we're not going to go over it the second he hits holiday time, but I want it to be ready as soon as possible. So I'm going to do that to start my day. So here we go. Wait, Liz and L. Liz and L. I think they were the names. Lee or Liz or something and L. That's... Is it the names? Hang on. I'm going to fact check this. I need to know what the names are. I was right. I found it. I was right. Liz and L. These... Ah, oh, I love these two so much. They're so cute. I just... Mm, go read Skybreakers keep getting distracted by other things like I've written like one page I've gone through like just this tiny section of my notes there's so much to go I just keep getting distracted I don't know why like I woke up in a writing mood and now I'm sitting down to write and I can't just I just can't focus my god I'm doing this today this is getting done today whether I like it or not <laughs> So the time is just past 2.40. Um, I've only written about six pages of script in that time. And I've only gone through like just under a page and a half of my notes that I took. Um, I think I realize why I'm struggling so much now. And like I mentioned in an earlier clip, it's because like I felt really overwhelmed this morning when I wrote down everything that I had to do for Forget Me Not, I'm actually not going to show that because it's a spoiler. We'll look at this. Um, yeah, I just feel really, really overwhelmed. And there's a couple of reasons why I feel overwhelmed right now. One, partially, is because of just how much Forget Me Not blew up in the past couple of days. Like, my brain is still processing that two days ago we had 37 readers and now we have almost 100. My brain is still processing that. Um, 
because I've never had an explosion that big before and it felt really really nice and heartwarming and I wanted to cry but it also came with oh shit this story has to be good now and so it's and not that it never didn't have to be good I always hold my content to a relatively uh, high standard when it comes to writing my stories but that was my pen but yeah, it just felt like there was like this added pressure of like people reading it. And I'm not saying that I don't feel grateful for it because I do. Every single one of you people, I love you so much. Thank you so much for giving it the time of day. I made Forget Me Not to be read and for people to see it. I just didn't expect it to spike so much in such a short time. Another thing that's got me feeling a little bit stressed right now, not the sirens in the background. Sorry, that was an ambulance. But another thing that's got me feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now is the fact that Forget Me Not is starting to become significantly bigger than it was expected to be at this time. I always expected to make Forget Me Not something more than just the web comics, something more than just uh, like webtoons and like physical printouts and stuff like that I always wanted more than just a webcomic to be the main format of the story but it's happening a lot quicker than I expected I originally was gonna write up uh script up and draw out all of the webcomics first and then see where we went from there which would have taken me several years um to like get all of the web comics out there but I wanted to do that first and then have them translated to another medium but that's not happening I haven't even finished the first draft for forget me not two and there's talks about transferring forget me not one to a different medium um and that's really exciting I'm like really excited and hype for it and this that and the other and it's such a big and uh, ambitious project that I'm really excited about but that's a thing it's a really big and ambitious project and the last time I did something even remotely close to this was Noble Blood and Noble Blood flopped so part of me is just really really scared that if I take the leap from webcomics to a more advanced medium too soon that Forget Me Not is gonna flop as well and that's terrifying to me even though like even if the extra mediums like flop and they don't work out all of forget me not one is done it's all already drawn it's just a matter of scheduling so it's not going to be the end of the world if it sticks to webcomic medium because like the webcomics are like my safety net now which i wasn't expecting the webcomics are my safety net because even if these extra mediums don't work, it's always going to be in webcomic form. And that makes me feel a little bit better about it, but it's just that I don't want to say PTSD. <laughs> I don't want to say that it's PTSD, but just the, the memory of working on Noble Blood and having things get way too out of hand way too quickly and like have it flop because not even because of the project, but because of people on the project and stuff like that. That is really scary to me. So I'm sitting here trying to script up Noble Blood 2 and I'm thinking, uh, not Noble Blood 2, forget me not to, and I'm thinking of the spike, I'm thinking of the expectations that people are going to have now, which I never ever had before. This, like, when I've been writing Forget Me Not, Forget Me Not first and foremost has always been about what I want and my, like, what I want to see in a story and what I think would be fun, but now that I've got this, there's, like, a little bit more... <laughs> Like, I'm sure it'll fade in time. I'm sure it'll fade in time and I'll go back to normal. But I just suddenly feel pressured to, like, make something. And not that I won't make something, but it's just making it really, really hard for me to focus on writing. Because instead of just writing what I want and going with the flow, there's, like, that extra um, pressure, that extra caution, I guess. It's, like, making me really iffy about what to write and what not to write and what's too much and what's not enough and blah, 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 blah. And it's just really, really fogging my mind. So... I dropped my pen. So what I think I'm going to do, and a lot of writers are probably going to disagree with me on this. Doug, if you're watching this, please just trust. Um, I'm going to keep writing up the script, but I'm going to do it while I'm playing Persona 5. And I know 
some people are going to be like, Sylv, that's such a dumb move. You need to focus on your words. And I kind of agree because I can't even listen to music while I'm writing because then the words that I'm typing and the lyrics of the song get like muddled up and even instrumentals sometimes it's really really hard like there's only maybe one song that I can um write to that I can script to and that is Roses from Friday Night Funkin <laughs> but anyway um I feel like if I have a game in the background or something just kind of casual and fun then it'll kind of uh bring down the the feeling of being overwhelmed and bring down the stress and relax me a little bit and then I can write a little bit more freely because I'm still at a part of the game where I know the cutscenes and stuff so I can just let the cutscenes play and write this stuff out because this is all still part of the game that I'm familiar with. So I think doing something like that will help me relax, help me feel a bit less overwhelmed so that I can actually get done what I need to get done today and then Hopefully, as time goes on, this feeling of being overwhelmed kind of diminishes and I can just get back to my scheduled programming. So we'll see how that goes. For now, I've got a coffee waiting for me in the living room because I realized I didn't have coffee for, with my breakfast this morning. I'm going to boot up Persona 5. I'm going to bring my notes. I'm going to bring my script with me. And yeah, hopefully that works out for me. Madarame Second Palace is down. Forget me not to script. 98 pages long. It's taken me a lot longer to write this because, like I said, I'm, I'm playing Persona, but this is exactly the kind of atmosphere change I needed. Like, I was so right to do this. Like, the game is de-stressing me so much, and it's just such nice background stuff when the cutscenes are playing. So then when the cutscenes are playing, I type up. And then when it's time for actual gameplay, I put it down, play a little bit of the game, I relax a bit more, and then I come back to this. It is process takes a whole lot longer but at least now I'm not like sweating from being overwhelmed <laughs> oh Morgana Morgana baby oh sweetie please stay pure please don't don't google s &M. right the time is now 7 45 I've just turned off persona and I'm about to write the last one, maybe two scenes of the first draft of Forget Me Not Two. I have to go back and add in a dream sequence because I wrote a dream sequence way back in January that I didn't like and I put a note to like edit it and change it, but I haven't done that yet, so I need to do that as well. It's looking a little bit shorter than uh, Forget Me Not One. As you can see, it's currently 102 pages. And granted, there is still one maybe two scenes and the dream sequence to add in so it might end up being a little bit longer but I was expecting it to be like at least at the very least like 10 pages longer than forget me not one because the plot for this one is a lot more slow paced which makes me feel like I've rushed certain elements of the story, which is okay because this is just the first draft. This is just me getting the idea out there so that it can be like fleshed out and worked on with my co-writer. But I'm going to have to go back, rework a couple of things. Obviously, it's the first draft. But yeah, because it's just past 7.45, I'm going to eat first. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to keep writing because writing while playing Persona 5 was a good thing for me. It really brought down that sense of being overwhelmed and being stressed and stuff like that. But the reason why I turned off Persona 5 is because I'm starting to hit a bit of a block. Like, I know what I want to happen in this sequence. I've got my written notes right next to me. I know what I want to happen. But, like, fleshing it out and, like, adding the dialogue and, like, the shots that I want and stuff like that is a little bit harder than I thought it was. So I might go and, like, hand write and, like, expand those last couple of scenes just so that I have a better idea on where I want to go because I got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck right about here. This is all I managed to write and then I got stuck. So I'm going to eat dinner. I might keep writing. I might do some doodling. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm a, still a little bit stressed. I feel like if I don't do anything uh, forget me not related or like working towards those projects then I'm a little bit stressy over it but um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I have decided that instead of expanding on these last two dot points that I have, 
I'm going to try and write a different scenario for the ending, like an alternate ending, I guess. And I've done this a couple of times before. I'm not sure if all of them are in this book. Um, but there is at least one section here. So yeah, I've got scenario A written up there. And then I've got scenario B. And then on the top, it's like, use this one. I write alternate versions of... Um, like the key events are the same, but the sequence that leads to those key events is different. So I write alternate routes, I guess you could say, for the same story beats. So I'm going to do that for the ending. I'm going to plan out one, maybe two. My problem is the the thing that's made me hit this block and made me want to do like an alternate uh, ending sort of thing is because forget me not to, well, let me start over. Forget me not is like a streamline kind of story if that makes sense like the ending of forget me not one is the same point where forget me not two starts and so i want that to be the same for forget me not two where the ending of forget me not two is the the starting point of forget me not three because forget me not was always intended to be a trilogy um and in order for that to happen a certain character has to be involved either at the end of forget me not two or Caden has to be put in a position where this character can come in right at the start of Forget Me Not 3. So I need to work on how I want to integrate that character into the story. And then once I do that, I'll have like the ending for Forget Me Not 2 that I want. So I'm going to do that. I might do that. If I'm going to try and do it tonight, I'm going to bring my stuff to bed. Just because I'm getting a little bit um, uncomfy sitting on the couch. Um, and the desk is where all of that sense of being overwhelmed and stressed and all that started this morning. So I'm going to try and do this in bed. And if I don't do it tonight, then I'll do it probably after my stream on Monday. Well, after my stream tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But for now, this is good night on Sunday. Howdy. Hey, my dudes. The time is now like maybe, what, 20 minutes past nine? Um, I was going to sleep in for a little bit longer, but my friend Cody was like, hey, I'm going grocery shopping, come with. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go shopping with Cody. I'm just taking my vitamins. Haven't had breakfast yet, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to get out of the house. All right, homies, how the heck and hey, I'm back. The time is like, what, 10.45, 10.46? Hell, maybe even 10.50, I don't know. I didn't check the clock, but... Um, got home a little bit later than I thought I would, which is okay. I was going to start streaming at 11.30, but it takes me roughly an hour to, like, make breakfast. So, <laughs> immediately we're going to be a little bit off schedule, but that's okay. Not by much, hopefully. I'm debating if I just stream in this because I'm cozy or if I put my hoodie back on. I genuinely don't know. But, we'll see. I'm going to make breakfast, going to get my stream set up, and yeah, we're going to play some Last of Us. Hell yeah. Next Forget Me Not page also went up real, real nice. Here we go. We're two followers away from a hundred. Oh boy. Bill was Whoa. gay. Come on. How how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Well, hold Just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Oh no, Bro. he made one. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Oh, okay, good. Bye so bye, dude. Bill was hardcore gay. And we stand that. So Frank was his romantic partner. That's good. Whenever they say partner in games like this, I'm unsure if they mean survival partner you know or if they mean romantic partner. So this it's good to get that confirmation. All right. I'll be 110% honest. Probably not the best stream that I've had recently. Uh, I really like Last of Us. I really do. I really enjoy the story and the dynamic between Joel and Ellie and all that. But the problem, my problem with it, is that its gameplay is very, very much like Tomb Raider. And I don't like Tomb Raider because of its playstyle. I really don't. Um, and so because Last of Us kind of has the same mechanics and stuff, it's really difficult for me to sit down and actually enjoy it because these are just gameplay mechanics that I struggle with and I don't like because I struggle with. So I will admit, not the most positive or high energy stream that I've had, but... 
I still enjoy it. And like, like I said on stream, I'm still going to play the game because my investment in the story is currently overpowering the fact that I don't like this kind of gameplay. So hopefully that sticks. Um, while I was streaming though, Forget Me Not has passed a hundred readers on Webtoons, which is really nice. It's really interesting to see, like, it's hard to believe that not even a week ago I was on 37 followers and it's just spiked so much in such a quick time. It's still a little bit overwhelming, so I'm trying not to look at the number as much, but I really, I just cannot help it. I can't help looking at the number sometimes, but that's happened. I think I'm going to sit down in the study, literally right there. I'm going to sit down in the study and do some animating, maybe? We'll see. Um, I'm debating if I do... I'm debating if I do animating or if I try and do the script edits that I was talking about yesterday. Uh, I think I just want to do some mindless animating. Today's the last day my co-writer is at his job before he gets his holiday time. But like I said, we're not going to be doing any co-writing work like the day that he gets out of like the day he gets on holiday so I still have time to like do the edits and stuff um I'm also just want to do something relaxing because I'm still feeling a little bit shaken by the fact that everything grew so quickly and the stuff that I was talking about yesterday so I think we're just gonna animate for a little bit and then see where we go from there I might end up animating the whole day you guys know how these vlogs go but we'll see watching more to try tiktoks i'm not i'm not watching more to try tiktoks i just i guys come on i'm not animating more to try guys i don't know what y'all are on about i'm not i'm not animating more to try you guys howdy heck and hey my dudes it's tuesday morning i don't even know what time it is i just know that it's past 10 o'clock i feel really really bad like i've got not cramps but like pain and like just general pain and it's like I'm a little bit lightheaded so walking around is not the most fun right now but I'm doing it anyway in the hopes that I can kind of get used to being up um because th I've done that before I just like walk enough times and then like I'm fine but I think it's another <laughs> I think it's another diet thing I think I've discovered something else that is not too great for my body, but I don't know what it is yet. So I'm playing around with my food, trying to figure it out. Um, but it's making me feel really unwell. So I think today I wanted to touch up the script again. I did because I've been talking about it for the past couple of days and I really want to finish it because now my co-writer is officially on his holiday. But I think if we don't do that, then today is just going to be a really, really chill, like line art day for that first forget me not animated project I was working on I don't want to don't want to put in too much like effort to do stuff for the, the much bigger project I might finish the mortar twire thing that I totally wasn't doing last night um we'll see it was it was a really funny idea I really liked it but anyway um I think today's just gonna be a really chill calm work kind of day so if i don't record too much today i'm sorry it's because i'm really unwell and i'm just trying to get over like today over and done with so yeah i'm literally sitting here just trying to sketch i'm just i'm just drawing my boy sonic i i can't escape more to try hi guys happy wednesday i know what y'all are wondering so it was tuesday maybe like five minutes ago what's happening um after maybe about like two maybe three hours of being out of bed and like actually physically up and walking around I couldn't take it <laughs> I crawled right back into bed I was just so like oh and I feel bad because this is like the third vlog 
and like two out of three vlogs I've had a day where I'm just so unwell I'm in bed the whole day so <laughs> it was another food thing it was another food thing not the same food thing I actually don't know what food triggered this one so that's great I gotta figure that out but um yeah I'm not feeling too much better honestly I still feel, kind of feel like crap but I am feeling better which is good so hopefully today's gonna be a bit more productive I'm gonna try having a shower see if that helps I'm gonna eat and uh, yeah if there's not a lot of clips today then you know what happened <laughs> So not a lot actually happened today, I kind of just got sunk into my work and like just kept animating and watching videos and stuff, pretty boring day. D&D is going on right now, so that's a thing. I don't know, it'll come up really really pixely, but that little grey like square right there, that's me, that's Epoch, and I love him more than anything in this world. But I have a splitting headache. It's just physical problem after physical problem after physical problem this week. <laughs> But yeah, I got a really bad headache. I took medication. It's not doing anything for me. So as soon as D&D's over, I'm going to head to bed. Maybe even before D&D's over, I'll head to bed. But yeah, I hope I'm okay to stream tomorrow. I should be fine. I should be alright to stream tomorrow. Oh, wait. What is that? Oh, it's just a pipe. Okay. <laughs> I'm not scared. You are. Um... This is a very long hallway as well. What is that? What is that? Oh my god, no, 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 no. What are they? No, not that one. Hey guys, I literally just realized that I didn't record anything this morning. Uh, <laughs> I got up to eat and I was getting ready for the stream, but then by the time I finished breakfast, it was time for me to stream. So I had to sit down and I was talking to my mum, because she's trying to help me figure out my like food problem. Um, and I got, I just lost track of time. I ended up streaming for like four hours. It's four o'clock right now. Um, and I just, oh, it's so good. I love Silent Hill so much. It's just, I'm so genuinely happy. It was so hard for me to put the game down. Like I could have kept streaming for another four hours if I'm being completely honest. The game is just that much fun right now. But I had to stop. Because I have other stuff I want to do today. I'm going to keep doing the line art for the Forget Me Not opening now. I might end up fiddling around and like just screwing around with some other stuff too. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But stream was really fun. Stream was great. Uh, I I'm feeling a lot better after playing Silent Hill. Like I'm still feeling sick, but my mood has like skyrocketed. I oh, Fantastic. Fantastic. I love it. If you haven't played Silent Hill and you have the ability to play it, Play the original Silent Hill. Avoid the HD collection altogether. Just play the original Silent Hill. And if you don't have access to it, you can either check out the VODs on my Twitch, Selfless Plug, or you can wait until I edit the, uh, the VODs into a highlight reel and you can watch the highlights on my gaming channel. So, yeah. But I'm going to animate now. I just found out, I'm not entirely sure why, but I just found out that the comments are restricted for my Laloon 2 meme. I'm not sure why. They were working perfectly fine yesterday, but... Oh no, they're working again. Never mind. They were restricted literally two seconds ago, but now they're here, it's fine. No worries. for dinner and like what I usually do is I just put on like a YouTube video but bro RT game is so fucking funny I watch pretty much every video that comes out and like I'm a bit of a late subscriber so I've been going through his backlog and watching his old stuff 
Oh my lord, he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Please go check out Ashi Game, he's so funny. Hello, it's Friday. It's just past 9.30 in the morning. I've been up for like, I think maybe like two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I don't know why, I just kind of like, I was half asleep, I rolled over and then I just kind of like jolted awake and I was like, oh, okay. But like, my body was still too tired to get out of bed, so I just stayed in bed for another two hours. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have breakfast and then I have to do grocery shopping today. Today's grocery day. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I know tonight my friend Lucy wanted to play, I don't remember the name, Florence, I think it is. Really, really short game. Uh, and I'm excited for that, so that's happening tonight. But I don't know what I'm gonna do between like grocery shopping and uh, Florence. I think that's the name of the game. I think I might, I might do video editing for, um, What's I'm gonna call it? The Twitch, like the, the VODs highlight channel. I'm sorry, I'm still half asleep. <laughs> the VODs channel, because I haven't done any editing for a little while, so maybe. But first things first, we're gonna go do grocery shopping. Right, I'm home, shopping is done. I realized that the Forget Me Not page did not go up on Instagram, so that's a big oof. I'm trying to fix it now, but like the, the scheduling program that I use just is is not having a great time so i'm trying to get it up now every time i have to upload a page to instagram it ends up being late so i'm so sorry everybody but it's all good at least it went up on webtoons okay there he is page 27 up for webtoons <laughs> just finished playing uh, Florence with my friend Lucy and Florence such a good game I would recommend to any creative out there I don't want to spoil it but just know that the story resonated with me really 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 hard like <laughs> if you watch my video on how forget me not came to be and then you play Florence you'll be like oh yeah I can see exactly how Sylv would resonate with this but I'm gonna play another game by the same studio, which is If Found. It's just downloading at the moment, shouldn't be too too much longer. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the night goes from there, but I'm having a great time. Hello! I'm just crawling out of bed now, it's like 10 minutes past 10 or something like that. Um, I ended up staying really late last night because we played Florence in like the afternoon. And then we played through If Found, which was so, so beautiful. I have so many friends I need to recommend that to, If Found was so good anyway and then we stayed up until like past one o'clock in the morning looking at fucking tiktoks and twitter memes so pretty late night pretty late night which is why we're having a late morning but that's okay it's fine we love we love being comfortable in this house <sighs> yeah i'm still pretty tired if you couldn't tell <laughs> um today's saturday so i'm gonna do the editing for the vlog I think this vlog's gonna be pretty short. I didn't record that much, did I? I don't think I did. But short vlog, probably just gonna focus on the whole feeling overwhelmed about forget me not thing because that kind of stuck with me all week, which, I mean, you know, it happens. Sometimes you just don't have a eventful week, I guess, because of stuff like that, but that's okay. So I'm gonna do some vlog editing. Probably gonna either continue doing line art for the first forget me not project that I'm working on or get like start working on well not start but like finish working on the audio and start doing the animatic for a teaser for a different project that I'm working on with that that will be really fun so I have to edit the vlog at some point today so I might do that first but I also am really really hyped for this teaser so we'll see how we go
All right, all right, all right. So quick update. I'm finally getting the final pre-orders for the forget-me-not, like, actual physical books. I would pull out my physical book, but it's, like, buried in a bunch of other books. That, and I'm going to be getting a second one because the physical copy that I got was literally just to test the quality of the printing and stuff like that. So it didn't have any of the extras. It didn't have any of the, like, um, the, like, in-between chapter posters because I do have, like, uh, they're right here. I do have some of the actual, like, uh, pictures that are supposed to go in between chapters. The one, the test print that I got didn't have those. Um, I also am thinking about adding a couple of pages of, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff. Like, maybe literally just thumbnails and, like, excerpts of script for certain scenes. Maybe not the whole scene. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and, yeah, the final, I'm getting the final, like total number of orders now so I need to go through these and like upload them to the site by the way this is how I used to track when I would do pages because I wanted to do at least one page a day so like that would be that page and then I would say when I got colored and then you know I would write down okay this page is the page that I was supposed to do tomorrow but it's done and I would like it's difficult to explain so I'll just kind of show you what I did I did <laughs> look at how many pages I did on August 3rd, that, that's over a year ago now. I did that many pages. Um, and yeah, oh my god, they're just like, see I do random bursts of pages, but that's not what I'm talking about today. So I'm gonna start compiling the pages ready for print because I have them in a big PDF file, but for some reason the website that I'm using to upload them doesn't like the PDF file. It wants <laughs> individual like pages uploaded. So that's going to take a while, uh, and i got to add the in-between chapter pictures. I have all of them except for the last one. The last one is just needs a background, and then it's done. So we've got to do that. I also have to fix the front cover, because if you saw my video where I actually unboxed the first book, they screwed up the front cover, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also, because I think I do have the funds for it, going to... Oh, my notebook is gonna fall. Gonna design some forget me not flower pins as like a little plus, like a little extra for whoever ordered the book because they've been waiting a really, really long time to get their book. And the whole reason they've been waiting a long time is because the biggest order, someone ordered like half of my order is people buying one copy of the book, and then the other half of my order is someone just bulk ordering books. So. I only had half of the orders because this one person hadn't put through the payment for all the books that they wanted. So that's finally coming through today. I'm going to design the forget me not pins as a bit of an extra because I think they're ordering even more copies than they said they were going to. Um, which means that I can afford to do the pins. So I'm going to do the pins. I'm going to fix up the pages and the page order and we're going to do book work today instead. thinking about where on the cover I want my uh my full name to be because on the printed version it's just under forget me not this is this is why I have to fix the cover by the way they got the dimensions wrong um but my name is just under the title except I forgot that the subtitle of this version of forget me not is asinite because forget me not is a three-parter and so Rather than calling them Forget Me Not, Forget Me Not 2, Forget Me Not 3, it's Forget Me Not Asinite, Forget Me Not, I forget the name of the second one, and then the third one is Purple Hyacinth, Hyacinth? I forget how to pronounce it, but they've all got the main title of Forget Me Not, and then they've all got a flower subtitle, and I didn't put that on the demo version. So I've put it on the demo version underneath uh the actual title, Forget Me Not, and now I have no idea where to put my name. I'm thinking, I was thinking here because you got Forget Me Not Asinite and then you read the name and then you see Caden, but it, just something about it looks a bit wrong. So I thought about putting it in the corner like this, but because his sleeve and all that is already kind of purpley, the, my last name doesn't really stand out that much. 
So I'm not too sure. I'm going to play around with that for a little while because I want the Asinite subtitle there because that's that's what it's called. It's Forget Me Not Asinite. But I don't know where to put my name now. So. original print of forget me not up here just to make sure I actually did go through and like find stuff that needed to be edited and like I got the page layouts here I got all the original pages up here so that I can go through and edit any that I need to with the edits that I find here I got clip studio paint open I need to edit any files we're gonna be here a while It's just past 7.20. All of the Forget Me Not pages have been uploaded. The order has been made. Should be roughly, I think, two, maybe three weeks until I get the books. The books aren't being shipped to me directly. They're being shipped to my parents' place just simply because it's a massive order and I don't have like anywhere for such a massive box to go. So here it is. It's been ordered. It's coming. Here we go. Alright. The book has been ordered. Dinner has been had. Spent some time with fam. Watching episode one of Loki. We'll see how we go. Might end up playing Dark Souls later tonight. It all depends on how things go. Bye. So, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Bye-bye.